Hey there guys, I've just had a funny thing happen to me but um, I'm not going to focus on that. Today I'm just going to show you a very simple program. It's called Windows 7 in the box. And it really is what it says. You get a little picture, that does nothing. What you want to focus on is it on these menus here. So we've got settings, we've got turn windows features on, on or off. And it, basically, all of these options and programs that normally we would not have easy access to because the thing is is that we we don't even know that some of these things are installed in Windows or that some that Windows actually has these things because we don't see easy shortcuts to them in the start menu or none at all. So we've got settings and we've got things like control uh, and we've got things like control panel, check for update, that checks an update to this program and there's no settings for this program really I know it says settings but there's no settings we've got about the program and we've got functions now the things the, the thing that actually happened to me is I accidentally hit restart I'll upload the video to, um, for that because it was just I just found it so funny I'll call it blooper and it said Windows will shut down in less than a minute, so that's an anecdote from me. But lock your, lock your screen, Windows version. And we've got, you know, just, it's all laid out for us. Fonts, desktop, favorites, common, application data, folder options, Windows temporary folder. Program files, system 32, internet settings, NS lookup. Okay, never mind that. Internet options, set up a network, blah 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 blah. We've got programs. So we've got the default Windows programs that, that come with Windows right in here. Um, I don't know why my cursor goes to a circle when I go to that. Don't, don't ask me about that. I, I just don't know. We've got tools. And we've got the device manager and this cleanup and task manager. And you know, as soon as you, you click it, it just does what it says. It takes you right to that function. So really, all this program is is just short. It's just easy, categorized shortcuts for the programs that you will, will find in Windows 7. And that's really it. You know, that's pretty much it. That that is all there is to say about it. And you don't need to install it, you just get a little executable file. If you just, when you download it, right click it and click extract to. And just go into the folder. And just double click it. So that's it really. I will upload the blooper of course. And thanks for watching my video. Please comment and rate and subscribe if you like my videos. Thanks for watching. And have a good day everyone. Hope this has helped you.